This training video will cover the settings page within Moviso and explain a little bit about the Moviso call parameters and disambiguation settings, what they are and how they work. Find Me is a feature of Moviso which allows users to receive calls at locations other than their office. If the Allow Find Me setting is enabled, a user is able to configure their home and mobile numbers and when someone asks for that user, the system will look at their Find Me setting and connect the call to the appropriate location. If the Allow International Calls setting is enabled, the system will be able to make international calls. Non-directory dialing is any number that is not associated with either a person or a department. During a call, the caller can key in a phone number or speak a phone number. If you wish to allow callers to call outside of the directory, enable non-directory dialing. Enabling non-directory dialing can be a security issue as the callers would be able to dial any number that they wanted to. The PBX would need to be configured properly for security if you enable this setting. The three voicemail related settings do not reference the voicemail number configured within the application page. This is actually a Mobiso messaging feature. If a caller says, message Brian Jones, and Brian Jones has an email configured, the caller will be able to leave a message and an email will be sent with the audio attachment. The allow voicemail setting enables this feature. You are able to specify if this feature is available after an attempted find me call. And finally, you can specify if the Mobiso voicemail messaging feature is available to all callers or only to known callers. A known caller is someone that the system recognizes because the phone number is associated with a Mobiso account. Use Office extension is there if, for some reason, you are unable to transfer using only the Office extension. Deselecting this will use the full Office phone number that is programmed in the employee's account. The Add 1 to 10 digit phone number feature is there, so if Mobiso is dialing a 10 digit number, it will automatically add the 1 when dialing. The auto login for known caller is there so when a user calls from a phone that is associated with an employee record, it will automatically be logged in and have full access to Find Me, messaging, and other services that require authentication. If this feature is turned off, when a user attempts to use one of those features, they will be asked to authenticate. Within the disambiguation history fields, there are three different types of numbers. There are person, extension, and external numbers. A person is someone who is known to the system and has an account on the people page. An extension is another number within the office that is not assigned to a person. This could be a phone in a conference room or another common area. An external number is an external caller. ED is enhanced disambiguation. For each of the person, extension, and external numbers, you are able to specify the maximum number of ED entries and also the number of days those entries will be retained for. You are able to set the maximum number of entries from 0 to 100 and the number of days retained from 0 to 365. If both the maximum number of entries and number of days are set to 0, this will disable ED history. The reporting email address is used by Mobiso when an issue has been detected and an alerting email will be sent to this address. Clicking the test email address button will send a test email to this address to verify email connectivity. The default voice portal pin is initially set to 757678. If you want to change this value, you can do that here. The postmaster address is used for returned voicemails that fail to be delivered via email to a valid user. These emails will be redirected to the postmaster. The SNMP server is the alternate SMTP server that can be used for voicemail relaying. Setting this value will override the system SMTP setting when sending voicemails. The time zone setting is used to identify what time zone the server is running in and any times that are displayed or configured via the admin interface reference this time zone. Applications also run within this time zone, and this setting becomes important when configuring your nighttime start and end times. For additional information on any of these settings, please refer to the admin guide or refer to any of the other training videos online.